Hey everyone, welcome to another video. So today's video we are working on iPad 6 which came here for not charging. Whenever you plugged in it says charging but after two seconds it stopped charging and says not charging on it. I already opened it up and diagnosed it. We found out the TriStar chip which is on the main board and control the charging. That chip is not good. So basically we're gonna replace the TriStar chip today and it will be work fine after that. As you can see on the under the microscope, this is the TriStar chip, which is bad. So let's start it our repair and change it out and test it out. So I took out the board from housing and we're gonna replace now. So I had some flex on it and then we're gonna take out our TriStar chip. So be very careful when you take out uh, the TriStar chip or any chip. Don't force it or pull it until it's got loose. If you uh, try to pull harder, so you're gonna end up the ripping off all the pads. So that way, it's gonna be very difficult when we're gonna put the new TriStar chip or any any other chip. Almost loose. There you go. It's come off. So now I'm going to add a little bit more flux on it. Take a piece of wick and with the hot air, we're going to take out all the extra solder from the pads. Be very careful because if the wick go on the sides with any capacitor, we're going to take out right away. So be very careful when you take out the excess holder from the pads. There you go. One side done. So let's do other side now. There you go. It's almost done. So the pads are looks good now. There you go. Clean up the whole area. So make sure whenever you uh, work with the flux, after that work done, clean up the whole area completely. So I add some flux. And whenever you uh, take out uh, the chip, any chip, so make sure before you take out, uh, uh, note the side of the chip, what side is it? there should be one little dot on every chip which indicate uh, the side of the chip. So remember always that uh, side. If you put the chip different side, it's not gonna work. It's gonna short the whole board and then you have to take out and put it again. So make sure you keep hold uh, the chip on place until it gets solid with the board. So it's a little bit good now, so we're gonna leave it and put the hill hot air. Make sure you give enough air and just move a little bit the chip, not too much. Once it gets solid, so when you're gonna move it, it's gonna come to place right away. Oh, see if you move a little bit more, so it's gonna be going all the way side. Here you go. It's look like solid now. So once see we're gonna move it, it's gonna come back to the place. As you can see, it's coming back to the place. This looks good to me right now. So just a little bit more air. That way, we don't have to take out again. Here you go. So now clean up the board <clears throat> completely. Make sure to clean the whole area from the sides. And as you can see the metal plate on the left hand side, this one I cover the connectors. So we're gonna take out and clean up from here. So that way your work looks nicer. 
So let's put it back together and test it out now. Hopefully it will be work fine. Uh, we just changed out the uh, TriStar chip. So now we're gonna test it out and see how's that goes. Let's put the screen on it only and test it out if it's work fine or not. You need to connect the screen and put the battery screw on it. Let's test it out. So we are going to put on charge. There you go. This comes on, so hopefully it stay on and stays still charging. Based on my experience, it should be good. Hey go, it's working fine, it stays charging on it. So it still says charging. It says unable to activate Touch ID or iPad because uh, the digitizer is not connected. That's why it's saying that. As you can see, it still says charging. Before that, it was uh, saying no charging on it. So that's good. Let's put it back together. Hopefully you enjoyed this video.